For decades, some of the most important aircraft in any air force have flown hundreds of kilometers away from the fight, enjoying a sense of untouchable safety. They're the flying command centers, the eyes, ears, and the absolute lifeblood of modern air combat. But what if that safety is just an illusion? What if a new weapon, a silent hunter, could reach across that huge distance and pluck these giants from the sky? What if it could blind an entire military with a single shot? Well, a new combination of stealth and firepower is emerging from China that threatens to do just that, and it could rewrite the rules of air superiority overnight. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you subscribe to our channel, share, and like our video so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. To really get why this is such a big deal, you first have to understand how air warfare actually works. Victory in the sky isn't just about the fastest, most nimble fighter jets. It's made possible by a small, exclusive club of enormous, slow-moving, and incredibly valuable aircraft. We call them High Value Airborne Assets, or HVAAs. Think of them as the queen on a chessboard. You don't have many, but losing one is catastrophic. First up is the Airborne Warning and Control System, better known as AWACS. Aircraft like the American E-3 Sentry or the newer E-7 Wedgetail are basically flying command centers. Their huge, spinning radar domes can watch a massive amount of airspace, spotting enemy aircraft, missiles, and ships from hundreds of kilometers away. They're the quarterback in the sky, directing their own fighters to intercept threats and managing the chaotic flow of battle. Losing an AWACS is like a football team suddenly losing its star quarterback, its playbook, and its radio all at once. The team is left confused, vulnerable, and flying blind. The second giant is the aerial refueling tanker. Planes like the KC-135 Stratotanker are the flying gas stations of the military. Modern fighter jets are incredibly thirsty, especially when they're hitting the afterburners in a fight. Tankers let these fighters stay in the air for hours longer and project power far from home. Without them, an air force's reach shrinks dramatically. A fleet of the world's best fighters becomes a short-range defensive team, unable to push any advantage deep into enemy territory. For half a century, the main defense for these critical assets has been simple, distance. They operate in a supposedly safe standoff zone, far from the action and protected by friendly fighter patrols. The enemy just couldn't reach them, but that core belief is now being challenged by a weapon built for one reason, to hunt these giants. The weapon at the center of this huge strategic shift is one of the world's longest-ranged air-to-air missiles. It's a piece of Chinese hardware that has been reportedly designated as the PL-21. While some reports have called it the PL-17, the PL-21 designation is widely associated with this new, terrifying capability. It's even earned a chillingly blunt nickname, the AWACS Killer. This missile is a monster. Its estimated operational range is a staggering 300 to 400 kilometers. To put that in perspective, the most advanced version of America's main air-to-air -air missile, the AIM-120 AMROM, has a public range of about 160 kilometers. The PL-21 can, in theory, be fired from more than twice as far away. This isn't just beyond visual range, it's a whole new ballgame. The PL-21 is built to cover this insane distance at incredible speeds, reportedly hitting over Mach 4. After it's launched, it gets mid-course updates from its launch aircraft through a datalink. As it gets closer, it switches to its own advanced seeker, which is believed to include an active AESA radar to hunt its target down. For a big, slow-moving plane like an AWACS or a tanker, a Mach 4 missile popping up on the radar from 400 kilometers out is basically a death sentence. You can't outrun it, and there's almost no time to react. For years, though, the PL-21 had one big problem, it was just too big. Its massive size, needed for its powerful rocket motor, meant it couldn't fit inside the internal weapons bays of China's first stealth fighter, the J-20. Sure, you could hang it on a pylon under the wing, but that turns your stealth fighter into a giant blip on enemy radar. The assassin would be seen coming from a mile away, completely defeating the purpose. This is where China's newest stealth fighter, the J-35, changes everything. The J-35 is a fifth-generation, 
twin-engine stealth jet designed to fly from aircraft carriers, much like the American F-35. It's loaded with advanced electronics, a powerful radar, and a design that screens low observability. The critical breakthrough is that credible reports and analyses suggest the J-35 has been designed with internal weapons bays big enough to carry these enormous PL-21 missiles. While official confirmation is, of course, a closely guarded secret, the potential for this pairing is what has defense planners spooked. If it's true, it means China has solved the puzzle. They've paired their longest-range weapon with a stealthy plane that can get it close enough to do damage. They've created a truly deadly duo. The J-35's stealth combined with the PL-21's extreme range creates a threat that's way more than just the sum of its parts. It's not just a new weapon, it's a new tactic that could completely shatter the current model of air combat. Picture this. A J-35, almost invisible to radar, slips past the outer defenses. It doesn't need to get into a dogfight. It doesn't even need to get close to the fighter escorts. From 300 or 400 kilometers away, it fires its PL-21s at an AWACS flying in what it thought was a safe orbit. The crew on that AWACS might get a few seconds of warning, but what can they do? Their plane is a modified airliner, not a fighter jet. The result is the destruction of the enemy's nerve center before the real fight has even started. The ripple effect is devastating. The fighter jets that the AWACS was directing are now flying blind. Their eye in the sky is gone. Situational awareness collapses, coordination falls apart, and they go from a networked fighting force to a scattered mess of individual planes. They're sitting ducks. The mere existence of this threat forces adversaries to completely rethink their strategy. Those safe zones? Not so safe anymore. To avoid getting picked off by AJ-35 with PL-21s, those precious AWACS and tankers have to be pulled way back, hundreds of kilometers deeper into friendly territory. This forced retreat has two crippling effects. First, an AWACS that's farther away has a worse view of the battle. The Earth's curvature creates radar gaps, leaving blind spots for attackers to sneak through. Second, and maybe more importantly, tankers that are farther back make the fighter fleet way less effective. Fighters have to fly farther just to get gas, which means less time on patrol and less fuel for actual combat. Their range and staying power get slashed. This J-35 and PL-21 combo fits perfectly into China's broader military strategy of anti-access, area denial, or A-2-AD. The whole point of A-2-AD is to make it too costly and dangerous for an adversary, like the US, to get involved in regions China cares about, like the Taiwan Strait or the South China Sea. The J-35 and PL-21 create a massive A-2-AD bubble in the sky, designed specifically to take out the key players in American and Allied air power. It's a systematic plan to dismantle an opponent's ability to fight a modern, networked air war. The world of air power is going through a seismic shift. For the first time, the very assets that have guaranteed Western air dominance are facing a credible, long-range, and stealthy threat. The pairing of the PL-21 missile with the J-35 stealth fighter isn't just a small step forward. It's a revolutionary capability designed to decapitate an air force before the fight even gets going. It turns the most valuable pieces on the board from untouchable command posts into hunted targets. It forces entire air forces to operate from a defensive crouch, shrinking their reach and effectiveness. The US and its allies are now in a race to develop their own next-generation weapons, but the reported pairing of the PL-21 with a purpose-built stealth platform may have given China a temporary, but incredibly significant, advantage. The era of the untouchable AWACS and the safe tanker might just be over. The balance of power in the skies is being rewritten, not by nimble dogfighters, but by a silent hunter and its incredibly long-range spear. The game has truly changed. So, what do you think? Is the J-35 and PL-21 combination the ultimate game-changer that makes legacy air forces obsolete? Or are there new technologies and tactics that can level the playing field? Let us know what you think down in the comments. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve on military tech and global shifts, make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell for more deep dives just like this one. Thank you for watching.